Let's talk about spheres and hemispheres. A sphere is basically a ball. I'm pretty sure that you are very familiar with what a ball is. And a hemisphere is half of that. The diagram below shows a hemispherical bowl of radius 15 centimeters. Some liquid is poured into the bowl to a height of 8 centimeters with a circular surface of radius BC. State the length of AC. Write down the length AB. Hence, find the length of BC. This is such a great problem. This is one of my favorite problems, actually. I want you to pause the video and I want you to try and think think about the answer before you just watch because if you don't try to think about it yourself you're going to be missing out on that thought process that you need to start developing when you go in to solve these problems now if you already thought about this problem for a while and you're looking for the solution go ahead and just keep watching the video so one of the biggest things about these shapes is that they are three-dimensional and you're drawing them on a two-dimensional surface like a paper or a screen right here from A to C I think you would all agree that this is going to be the radius of this hemisphere well from the center to any point on the circle this is also going to be the radius so it may not seem like it okay they tell me the radius is 15 centimeters 15 centimeters from A to C seems to be shorter than from A to this bottom point right here, which it doesn't say what it is. I'm going to call it X just so that you know what I'm talking about. So AX doesn't seem like it's 15, but it is because it is a radius. So would be this side length right here all the way to this point on the circle. So all the way around, all of these are radii because they're coming from the center. And even though they don't look like they're all going to be 15, they are because of the way it is drawn. If you were to see this in three dimensional, if you were to see this in real life, you would see that, yes, in fact, it is going to be exactly the same measurement. So that's the key to solving this problem is the fact that AC is a radius and so is A all the way down to the bottom. So this entire part is 15 centimeters. And if they tell me that from the bottom right here all the way to the bottom of the hemisphere is 8 centimeters, then 15 minus 8 is 7 centimeters. So that means that the length of AB is going to be seven centimeters so ac is 15 centimeters ab is seven centimeters then it says to figure out the length of bc not a problem now that i know that ac is 15 because it is the radius i figured out that ab is seven because it's the radius minus eight i can now turn to the pythagorean theorem so that i can solve for bc so 7 squared plus BC squared is equal to 15 squared. This means 49 plus BC squared is equal to 225. Go ahead and subtract 49 from both sides. Grab your calculator. 225 minus 49 is 176. So BC squared is equal to 176. Take the square root of 176. And you're going to get the BC is approximately 13.3. So the answer is approximately 13.3 centimeters. Let's take a look at this problem. Liquid is poured into a spherical container to a height of H centimeters. The radius of the sphere is 22. The top of the liquid is a circle of radius 10. Work out the height of the liquid H. So the liquid basically extends from here all the way down to the bottom. So that is going to be H. Remember what I told you about the radius? The radius is right here, which is 22 from the center of the sphere. So that means that also going down right here, that is also going to be 22 centimeters. Now, going up all the way to the top, that's going to be 22, but that's not really going to help me that much right now. What will help me, however, is that I'm going to be able to draw another radius that connects the center to this point right here. 
And you might be thinking, for what purpose? Well, right now I can connect it to this part, which I'm gonna call X, and I'm able to now make a right triangle. So by using the Pythagorean theorem, I know the hypotenuse is 22 centimeters. I can go ahead and set up the problem as X squared plus 10 squared is equal to 22 squared. So X squared plus 100 is equal to 484. Subtract 100 from both sides, you get 384. So this means that X is approximately 19.6. So remember the question says to figure out the height of the liquid, which means that you're going to have to take the 22 and you're gonna have to add it to the 19.6 that we just found, which is 41.6 centimeters. So we have been able to find all of this part right here by adding the 22 to the 19.6, which we got once we did the Pythagorean theorem. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more help with math so that you can say, yes, I can do math with confidence. Until next time, thanks for watching.